Hey guys, Chris here with Omnimetrics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new user within Omniview 2.0. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to set up a message recipient. Now, that is the first step into properly setting up a new user. You can set up a new user this way, but you will have to go back and set up message recipients to see any data on any units. If your goal is to strictly just let uh, a specific individual view the unit and the status and not have any access to change anything, I will show you how to do that at the end of this video. But click the link in the description below and it'll take you to that message recipient video to show you how to do the first step in this process. So once you're logged into OmniView 2.0, just come to this column here under configuration and you will hit users. Now, I'm going to put in the email of my uh, previous video, and you'll see that the message recipient is actually right here, and it'll show that it's actually active. If you click this action button, you'll be able to view, edit, send invitation. So once you set up the message recipient, this will send an invitation to that individual to set up their new password. Uh, you can update their password should they forget it, uh, as well as update their email uh, if you want to update their email uh, that they use for their profile. Now, if you hit edit, you'll be able to see everything here. And if you want to set up the configurations, whether it's company admin, company user, config permission, you can set that up here as well as set up the multi-factor authentication as well. Once you select it, you'll just hit save and everything is done. Now, let's just say you want to remove this user completely. You would just hit delete and that would not only remove the user, but they would not receive any type of messages whatsoever moving forward. Uh, now, if you want a background on how to find the uh, descriptions of those configurations, if you go to our website, go under support to uh, dealer resources, it'll take you to this page here and just click this button that has add OmniView message recipient and it'll open up this document here. This will give you the complete rundown of what a company admin does, company user, config permission, it gives you all the access so you don't accidentally set somebody up with something that they should not have. Now, we know that many of the calls that we get are just to set up someone with view access. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Once you're in OmniView 2, if you go back to the actual unit itself, click on the messaging, it'll show all of your message recipients here, and just find the user that you wanna give that read only or view only access to. You'll hit action, hit edit, and change the message type from whether it's standard persistent to log on only. The log on only will not send any type of notifications, but once they log into OV2, they'll be able to see everything and it is that read only or view only access uh, that a lot of folks are looking for. With that being said, uh, as, as always, I like to mention uh, with all these videos, should you have any questions on the left-hand column here, uh, our customer support, uh, it'll have the link to video tutorials like these. We'll be doing more in the future, not only on uh, walkthroughs uh, of OV2 and our products, but uh, any type of installation. You'll have customer support forms that'll get you in touch with our tech support team, as well as uh, OMV 2.0 feedback. That allows you guys to give us any type of feedback on the platform itself so we can further enhance it to help you guys in the future. So as always, on behalf of Omnimetrics, thank you for your support and partnership and have a great day.